You've just had your screen block replaced on your Samsung Z Flip. But just after the repair, you noticed that your screen no longer worked. Don't panic, this is perfectly normal. Even when you're using Samsung parts, all you need to do is recalibrate the screen and I'll show you how to do it right away. We offer you a 10% discount with the code YouTube on all spare parts on our World High Tech Com website. Take advantage of worldwide delivery and our customer service is at your disposal by email and telephone. So you've just replaced your screen block. The repair is complete. You can see that your phone is switched on and the external screen is working, but when you open it, the main screen remains completely black. Nothing reacts. Well, that means you need to recalibrate. There are three ways to recalibrate the screen and I'll show them to you straight away. The first technique for recalibrating your screen comes at the time of repair. So if you're watching this video and haven't yet replaced the screen block, pay attention. All you have to do is retrieve the magnets from your original screen block and reinstall them in the new screen block. You'll see that there are magnets in the new block, but retrieving the magnets from your original screen block will automatically calibrate the screen. So all you have to do is pick up the magnets with a pair of pliers and replace them in the new screen block. If, however, you find that after the repair the screen is still black and no longer works, then I suggest you take a look at the next two techniques which may provide a solution. If the screen still doesn't work with the above, or you've simply repaired your phone without recovering the magnets, well, you can calibrate it using the self-repair assistant. To start with, you plug your phone into the mains to make sure there's battery power for the duration of the operation. You then open the phone, hold down the power button, press the volume plus button once, then the volume minus button twice and you'll see that the screen lights up. But that's not all. Now go to the Galaxy Store. Go to search type self-repair assistant and the store will suggest the self-repair assistant application for you to download. If you can't find the application on your store, don't panic, I've provided a link in the description that will enable you to download the application directly to your phone. All you have to do is click on download and then save it to your phone. You launch the installation and then follow exactly the same instructions whether you've downloaded it from the store or from the link. Open the self-repair assistant application and follow the instructions. Then press continue to start. Then on the next screen press next start then start. The first calibration will now start. Press start again to calibrate the touch screen and the screen will turn white for a few seconds. Above all, don't touch the phone. The screen is now calibrated again. You can now close the application and return to your home screen. Then test by closing the phone, pressing the power button to see if everything's working properly. If this method doesn't work, we'll try a new one, which is calibration using a screwdriver to re-magnetize the phone's magnets, followed by self-calibration using the application. You'll take a screwdriver from the toolkit and put it in the top left-hand corner of the phone, and you'll see that the screen lights up. Then go to phone, press star hash zero star hash. Then press all I and remove the screwdriver once. Put it back in. Take it out again and press exit. The screen will now work again. But another calibration is required. You then go to the Galaxy Store to download the self-repair assistant application, which will complete the calibration of your screen. If you can't find the app on the Apple Store, don't panic. I've provided a link in the description to download the app directly to your phone. 
It looks like this, so it's an APK which gives you access to the self-repair assistant and then all you have to do is follow the instructions as I'll show you right away. Once you've downloaded the application, open it and select the screen you want to calibrate. Press next, then start the program several times. This will launch a first calibration, so all you have to do is wait. When this first calibration is complete, a second one starts. The screen will turn white. Are you still waiting? That's it. The screen is now calibrated. You can now press close. OK. The screen is now recalibrated. You can close and open it. The magnet detects when the phone is opened and closed. Your screen is now recalibrated using one of these three methods. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us in the comments area and we'll get back to you. And don't forget that you can find all screens for all Z Flip models on our World High Tech website.